Hey everybody. <clears throat> um, welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. I'm going to invite our Facebook friends to join in just a moment. I've been shooting uh, all night long. This is the first day of my next movie. You just got a notification because you're following me on Periscope. Um, for the next 30 seconds, as you guys come in, I want to give you an opportunity to share and we do shout outs because you did say you'd like to do that. And so I would love to do that uh, for you guys. So it's seven in the morning, by the way, just for perspective, it's seven in the morning and I have been working all night long. It's really crazy. And I now I feel like being awake. I'm supposed to go to sleep. So for the next 30 seconds, I will give shout outs to everybody who is sharing. Uh, thank you so much, Cheyenne918. Um, I had to block somebody there. Sorry, guys. Good morning. Good morning, Trinidad. Thank you. What are you up to? Abstract artist, Sophia Alvarez, Lair of Wonders, Chaco Dude, Ernest Almeida. Uh, thank you, Abstract Artist, for sharing in two different ways. Meyer and D, DeRay of Light. Good morning from Florida. Not, not quite as early there. Uh, Danga Bit Boy, you guys have crazy names, just so you know. So let's invite um, Facebook, and we will do our motivational Monday. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. It is Monday morning. I've been shooting my new movie. This is the first day, and I've been up all night. So this is crazy, but it's Monday, so I didn't want to miss it. Um, today, I want to talk about. Uh, oh, first of all, my name is Danica McKellar. For those of you who don't know, I'm an actress and a math book author and a uh, live streaming lover. Um, many other things, homeschooling mom, health nut, you name it. Today we're doing McKellar Motivational Monday and we're gonna talk about the idea of giving yourself permission to let go of certain things, certain negative things in your life. And I know it sounds kind of hokey or whatever, you've heard this kind of thing before, but here's the deal. I think, from my experience, there are a lot of times when we are holding on to something that's unpleasant because it's somehow doing something for us and we have to give it permission to go. Um, here's one example. So today we were shooting and right around midnight, I started really feeling upset that I was doing this. I'm like, you know what? Darn it. They didn't tell me it was a night shoot and what am I doing? And I am so tired. How am I going to make it through this? And I was like, oh, this is so hard. This night shoot is so hard. And I was like, wait a minute. Why don't I give permission to that feeling to go and give myself permission to enjoy this experience because you know what I was what I was getting from it was this feeling of like oh yeah I work so hard I'm so I'm such a hard worker and 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 you know what I'd rather do I'd rather have a good feeling so I decided to give that that whole experience I gave it permission to leave and I think it's really important for us to examine our lives and see where there are places like that where we could really benefit from giving ourselves permission to let something go. And it can be anything, anything that you're thinking or feeling, or even permission for a certain element of your life to go. Um, yes, acknowledge and then let it go. Do you guys have, thank you, Ryan. You just did that in a great relief. Oh, that's right, that's great, D. Yeah, so it's just one of those things we feel trapped by certain things, but sometimes it's easier to feel like a victim of our, of our experience. It's, we have less responsibility in that case. We can just say, oh, look at what I'm going through. I'm such a victim, even in our own minds. And it's not really serving us, but we're getting something out of it. And that's why we end up holding on to these negative experiences because we get to feel like, oh, look at me. I'm such a martyr and I'm such a victim. And you know, it's up to you. You have the choice. You can hold on to those things if you want. Personally. I'd rather let them go. Uh, yes, Binko, I was on the Wonder Years a long time ago. So that was my message. That's what I want to talk about today. Uh, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, yes, dealing with it um, is so important. Looking at things in the face and, and taking responsibility for your experience. It's a big one. You watched me on Hallmark all weekend. It's awesome. Yeah, I've got, I had my two wedding movies on this weekend. We make excuses for ourselves, Tammy. That's absolutely right. We like to make excuses for why we can't do things and, and why we're the victim of the situation, you know, why things are so bad. And we get to sort of show off about how horrible our lives are. And I'm not sure why there's something that we get out of that, but we do for whatever reason. It's like human nature. 
Yes, D Squad, you guys are the D Squad. And by the way, you're watching the Dana Cam. I forgot to say that. Welcome to the Dana Cam. Welcome to the Dana Cam. Welcome to McKellie Motivational Monday. How can we do this on a global scale? <clears throat> How can we do this on a global scale? You can, to give permission for bad things to let go. Well, to, to go. Um, you know, you gotta start, Michael Jackson said it best, start with a man in the mirror. Be the change you want to see in the world. It is absolutely the most powerful thing you can do and you will inspire other people by example. You will. Make it happen. Good morning, Frankie. People don't take accountability or ownership of things. Right, exactly. It's easier, it's easier to blame the world and to feel like a victim. What's more challenging is to say, well, maybe I have a part in this and maybe I need just to give permission to some things to let go. Something else I'd like to give permission um, to let go is a feeling that I have about something. If I'm angry about something, I say, well, I'm gonna give myself permission to not be angry about this. I'm just gonna give myself permission and then see what happens and the feeling may or may not leave. But if it's a feeling I really want to leave and it's not, sometimes I just give it permission and that makes a big difference. So you guys, I need to go to sleep now, believe it or not. Thank you so much for being here on the Danny Cam. I really appreciate all of your follows and all of your shares. You guys are awesome. And we can talk more about giving permission our feeling is permission to let go um, if you want. So thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Bye.